Well, there's a variety of reasons why we choose places we go to for cocktail hours. Sometimes it's the location, sometimes it's the atmosphere, sometimes it's a signature cocktail. But tonight, it's the bartender that brought us here. This is Abigail. And Abigail, I quote, someone told me, you've got to go see the hotshot New York bartender down at Sobu because she can make you a cocktail that's out of this world. Oh, that's so sweet. I had a gentleman come in here once and he said, hey, I saw something about you. You're one hotsy totsy. I created a drink on the spot called the hotsy totsy because that was was just too cute for him. I was just like, thank you, sir, so much. Well, I'm really glad we came down here. You were the reason that we did, but this place is amazing. It's absolutely beautiful. For people who haven't been here, there's so much to see here. Can you give them a little overview? Sure. I love my bar. I think it's so beautiful. We have such a beautiful selection of wonderful, unique spirits, a lot of small batch and local spirits. When the Sazerac was invented just a couple of blocks away from here, this building at the time was the ice house. So I like to believe that those early cocktails were chilled with ice right here. So we have good cocktail juju happening here. <laughs> right. So we'd like to honor that. The way that things were, have been done in New Orleans forever. I mean, I came from New York, but I always admired uh, New Orleans as a city that never stopped drinking well and making really good cocktails. And I feel like I've come home. Yes. I feel quite at home here as well. <laughs> <laughs> now, I know you guys are actually aging uh, some spirits behind the bars, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just uh, got uh, lovely barrels in and we are aging some white spirits because I wanted to see how the white spirits would interact and rather than have a spirit that's already been in a barrel, put something that hasn't been in a barrel yet, put it in a barrel, mixed up, see how it blends together. We are very connected to our kitchen. I like to use um, ingredients that are fresh and seasonal and local and of course the kitchen does too. And also it's very important that we stay in touch with the kitchen because I want our cocktails to pair well with the food. You can enjoy a really nice glass of wine or some beer with some pork cracklings and queso, but I think all of our cocktails are very approachable and are prepared very well with the chef's food. Well, I know looking at the cocktail list, you could literally come here every night that you're here and have something different. And another really cool thing is you could literally sit somewhere different. There's so many little nooks and crannies here. It's a really intimate place. I can't wait to try the food, too. I hear it's amazing. And our bartenders are all so well-versed in classic cocktails and just creating something for your palate that you could basically come in here and say, well, I like sweet, I like savory, I like something herby, I like something with uh, some spice to it, and they'll concoct something just special just for you. Well, I think I am ready for one of your signature cocktails, and I like a little spice. Do you think you make me a little something spicy? Absolutely, I will. Let's do it. Oh my gosh, I gotta tell you, I've had the pleasure to have some really good drinks in my time, but this is absolutely one of the most flavorful, unique cocktails I have ever had. I absolutely love it. Thank you so much for making it. Oh, thank you so much. It was a pleasure having you. Well, do yourself a favor while you're here in New Orleans. Make sure you come by Sobu, see Abigail, the hotshot bartender. She can make you your made-to-order signature cocktail, and it's absolutely fabulous. You're gonna love it.